Bonjour, I'm Antoine. Today on interview, Juan Goldburn, owner of Mawuzi Fitness Training. Let's go meet him. Juan, hey. <laughs> how are you doing? Hold on. <laughs> it's you good been? to see you. Oh, oh, man, very it's good, been very so good. long. Thank you very much oh, for your time. Man. Thank you. All right, okay, let's start. Tell us, you know, where you're from, uh, who you are, you know, how long you've been in New York City? Okay, um, so I'm from Jamaica. Okay. And I'm from the central area of Jamaica in a parish called Clarendon, which I always tell every Jamaican that's the greatest parish. Okay, all right. <laughs> We're going to have trouble yes. with the Jamaican community now. Oh, no, 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 no. But I'm from Maple Clarendon, <laughs> right? And, um, but, uh, and, and, and. So how long have you been uh, living in, uh, in the U.S. and in New York? In the U.S., we migrated, my parents and I migrated to the United States, to Maryland, the state of Maryland. Okay. In 1984. Um, all right. And, um, then 1997, I moved to New York City. 97. 97, uh, okay, which cool. was the greatest move I made. <laughs> you know, before I, I used to come up to New York City and look at the place. I'm fascinated with the yeah. architecture, the skyscrapers yeah. and everything yeah. and thought the that people. I would never live here because uh, uh, it's too concrete. Yeah. But then, you know, moving to New York helps me to discover beautiful places like this. I mean, yeah, you walk into Prospect beautiful. Park right here, you I would never imagine how much concrete is in New York. This looks like it's a forest. Almost. Yeah, exactly. So it's a beautiful yeah, place. That is very you know? true, yeah. So yeah. Uh, how long has uh, Mawusi Fitness uh, Training been open now? Mawusi Fitness Training got um, founded in 2008. 2008, okay, 2008. so it's been 13 years. And by the way, a uh, question comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. Does the word Mawusi mean something? Of course. Okay. So, <laughs> yes, <gonna> yes. <laughs> well, um, in Jamaica, most of our ancestors in Jamaica yeah. are from Ghana. Okay. From West Africa, mainly yeah. Ashanti, Ashanti, right? Okay. And I, I wanted to, I'm very um, spiritualistic, and I wanted to use a term from West Africa um, that, that, okay. that can um, put mm -hmm. emphasis on, 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 you know, the on type your, of... On your original roots. Exactly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and Mausi, even though Mausi, the word Mausi is not um, Ashanti, it's Ewe. But the okay. word means in the hands of God. In the hands of God. I like right. that. Doing fitness in the hands of God. Exactly. That's great. So you I know like when you come around a <laughs> yeah, company, yeah, you're, safe. you're in God's hands. <laughs> uh, you're safe, right? <laughs> How long have you been a trainer now? Uh, or is that something that you've always wanted to be? Well, I can't say I've always wanted to be a trainer, but I, 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 I was always loving science. Oh, and, okay. Yeah, especially science of the human body. Okay. And, um, and then I got into martial arts when I was uh, a teen, um, preteen, 11. Oh, you wow. Know? Right. And been in martial arts ever since, different arts. Uh -huh. And um, when I came to New York, I met up with a man named Lionel Smith. Who is? Who is a professional bodybuilder in Trinidad from the, the 50s. Oh, wow. You so know? you met him here in New York? I or? met him here in New York. I used to work at a company called Wonder Bread, the bakery. <laughs> you know, and we always work in there. So one day, you know, somebody say, yeah, you work out all the time. You like to train people. There's an old man upstairs who's really? a professional bodybuilder. I say, yeah, he said, you got to meet him. I went up there and I met him and yo, know, we became friends and yeah. he became my mentor. That's and great. from that, I got inspired yeah. to, to, to start a company. Yeah, and, right. you see Wonder Bread makes wonders. Makes wonders. It's crazy. Except for the bread. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about uh, health style uh, at the same time. So, uh, so you, you dived into the fitness, into, uh, it became part of your lifestyle, correct? Yeah. So then you it, become a, you've become a, a trainer at other companies before opening yours, or at did other you companies? Just, uh, no, no, right I started away? out. Um, I was a trainer at Bally's. Bally's, okay. Um, I did New York Health and Rocket and uh -huh. New York Athletic Club. Okay. And a few more other gyms. Yeah. Yeah, you know. And, uh -huh. But while I was at Bali's, so when I decided to start my fitness training because I wanted to build something better than what 
we were going through as trainers, you know. New Yorkers are great people, you know, very tenacious. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> tenacious, that's very, how you would describe them? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Very tenacious, you know. People who are go-getters. Go-getters. Yes, you know. And that's one of the, being amongst people in New York. And, you know, to ask about the business itself the difficulties in the business itself. One of the inspiration that I did get is from being in New York, from starting the business in New York. Yeah. I, I don't believe it would have been this successful if I had started in Maryland or North Carolina or, yeah. a, 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 or a state that's, that's at a much slower pace. Yeah. You know got what I'm it. saying? Yeah, I totally, right. I totally the, understand. The thing is with New York City and New Yorkers is yeah. that you know, we are go-getters, you know what I'm saying? And no matter what, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A storm come, whatever come, yeah. you know, we go under, we come back out. Exactly. Alive that's and right. punching. That's right, alive and punching. Yes. I love this one, you know, alive and, and punching. And, and, and I, sh that's, I should that's... put that in my real estate. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> alive and punching, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you want to be when you were a child? <laughs> come on, come on, tell us, tell us, well, tell us your, your child. One of my favorite subject is astronomy. And when I was a child, I wanted to be an astronaut. You wanted to be an astronaut? You know, now it's possible, you see, we just, we just launched a few people yeah. that didn't have the background. But I tell the you background. what, the dream is not gone, it's just no. redirected. It's on so course. now we're embarking upon space travel, you know, journeying out to find other planets to populate and things. What I want my OC Fitness training to do is be involved in that. You know what I'm saying? One of the things that, that help astronauts survive space travel is exercise. Yes. Being oh, subjected yeah, to zero yeah. G. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. I want to be a part of, of designing, you know, different methods of exercising in zero G, zero gravity. That's you know what I'm saying? Wow. Right. Yeah. So, and, and then when we go to other planets, Mars, for example, yeah. Mars do not have the same gravitational force yeah, as yeah, Earth. Yeah, exactly. It's a smaller yeah. planet, yeah. you know? So how will people develop on Mars over the years? How will humans evolve mm -hmm. living on another planet, populating a planet with less gravity? Well, we're going you know to what I'm saying? You. Of course. Uh -huh. Of we're course. Going to call you? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. so, uh, the whole thing is we want to be, we want to be in there designing different methods, yeah, 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 you yeah, know, yeah, that will help, help counteract yeah. yeah. The no. less gravity, no, no, no. the effect of less gravity. Okay. So, um, what do you think is your um, greatest strength? Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love people. Yeah? That's it. Okay. Yeah, That's I love good. people. I'm a humanitarian yeah, yeah. and okay. an environmentalist. Okay. You know, so, so I love the environment, I love people. You know, and for that one thing, it is, that's one of the reasons why I find so much pleasure in training people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's because I really, really love people. I like interacting with people. You know, I like to do what it takes to enhance a person's quality of life. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, my last question now. A little crazy, but uh, if you were a tool or an object to, to help your your uh, Mawuzi fitness uh, training to go to greater heights. What would you? <laughs> you know, there's a saying in Jamaica. Yeah, tell me. Strike the iron, strike the hammer, the hammer when the iron is hot. Okay. So, so that's, what would you be? That's taking advantage of the opportunity as soon as it, it, it exists. So I'd be a hammer. You'll be the hammer. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, okay. Just don't strike me, okay? <laughs> I might not <Man>. recover. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't say that, Antoine. <laughs> That's it, folks. That was Juan Goldburn, owner of Maozi Fitness Training. So if you're looking for a trainer that really understands and tailors to your needs, please contact him. He does wonders. Thank you very much for watching. Guys, you know the drill. Comment, share, like, subscribe. But in the meantime, it's selfie time. Selfie time. You get it. <laughs> you ready? Yes, sir. Oh, you look good, man. Men in black? Yeah. Oh, no, you got to right. oh, Okay. Swipe up. Okay. There you go. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Where so are we? Sure. Where are we? Yeah, oh, yeah, we're here. There you go. There okay. you go.
Ah! Yeah.